Alex from out the field is having a goal and the ball is wide. There is still time for Kildare. They must be patient. Three minutes of injury time still to go. Paul Durkin is in no rush, Marty, that's for sure. But what a rob by Hugh McGrillen in the last play. Donegal looking like they can get a, a shot off and McGrillen comes from nowhere, turns the ball over and Bolton puts wide. But as you say, loads of time, two and a half still. Jim McGuinness throws an eye to the big screen. Down at the hill, 16 end. Loose ball, breaking ball, follow what you want. It's Kildare's and James Cabman. Ronan Sweeney has added a little bit of steel to that full forward line. Has to go back outside, fires Alan Smith. James Cabner, will they try and work a score? Cabner scored from a difficult angle earlier. There's still a chance. Emmett Bolton was underneath it. Paul Durkin gave the ball away. And Kildare show that tenacity that we saw in Donegal earlier. They're chasing almost hopeless cases in terms of winning possession back. Slipping it through, Roman Sweeney. Getting inside, is he going to be afraid? Donegal win the possession back. Kildare have it. It's Callaghan. Flicking it back. Oh, there's Morris a free. Center that has been, yeah. center back for the flat in. There's a free in for Kildare. And surely this is the equaliser. And the referee, it was, I know it's happening very, very fast, but I thought he was fantastic there. He got just about every call right. One, two, three tackles in a row. But the, that is not a foul. He let it go. The last one is a foul, but earlier, tremendous. What a finish. It's interesting now, Marty. Jim McGuinness. Pod. Perhaps that he just might sneak over the end line here. But now the pressure is on Ono Flaherty. Should Johnny Doyle take it, I wonder? 73 minutes played. Four minutes of additional time was announced a short time ago. We're inside the last minute of injury time. Drama in Croke Park. They've been already level four times. Is this the fifth and final time? Pressure on Ono Flaherty. Steps up. He's got it. He's nailed it. And Donegal and Kildare are level and surely will go to extra time. They've come through the qualifiers, Kildare. This has been a sign of their character. Absolutely. And you have to give them credit. You sure do. What a comeback. Kick out by Paul Jerkin. Remember, Kildare had what we feel was a legitimate goal disallowed. 15 seconds left in the clock. Is there a potential winner here? Long ball from McGuillan was hit a little bit too powerfully, and the ball is wide. And Hugh McGuillan's face expresses his emotion. I think just as well it went wide because the clock had ticked over the 74. I know they say at least four minutes, but. Uh... You hate to see a winner come when the four minutes have elapsed. It's certainly extra time now. Extra time surely beckons. David Coldrick says, take the kick out. The whistle, is it blowing? Yes. Donegal and Kildare have to go to extra time in this All-Ireland quarter-final. A wonderful fight back by Kildare having conceded a smashing goal by super sub Christy Toy after 58 minutes. They had a goal disallowed themselves, a legitimate goal, certainly in Kevin McStay's view, by Tomas O'Connor. And here in Croke Park, before a crowd of 39,612, it's Donegal 1-7, Kildare 10 points, don't go away. But uh, it's 10 minutes uh, each way, with uh, Kildare playing from right to left. And a big decision there is the fact that Johnny Doyle hasn't started this first period of extra time, Gary White, uh, who played uh, more or less halfback, right halfback for a lot of the championship campaign, a former under-21 star, comes on instead of the Kildare captain. So where we got? Place in the All-Ireland semi-final, 10 minutes each way, first period of extra time. And the lights, of course, are on here in Crook Park. Morgan O'Flaherty, hoping now, of course, that can Kildare, having found their momentum, that that equaliser can continue on. James Cavan scored one glorious point in the earlier part of this particular game. Second half, that ball is wide off Morgan O'Flaherty. 
think uh, James Kavner's point, I think, as Kevin McStay was saying, was mentioning he thought it was more of a cross. It'll go down as one of the scores of the game. I hope I'm not doing him a disservice. <laughs> um, I'll certainly give him the benefit of the doubt. But uh, my first thoughts was that he looked up looking for a centre. But fair play to him. They went over and they all count. Interesting enough, the Donegal's won seven have all come from play. Not one single free. Kildare's ten points, six from play, four from frees. And a game that was dominated in the first half by defences which made it uh, quite poor in terms of standard, interesting in terms of tactical games, but it really has sparked into life in that second half, thankfully. Now, let's see what they can produce in extra time. Mark McHugh retaining possession. James Rory Cobner, I should say, giving it over for his Frank McGlynn. Has to release the ball, there's a little touch on there from Alan Smith. Eamon Calla. Referee blown the whistle, given a fray to Donegal. This was the challenge, and David Walsh. Certainly is a free. We should say, of course, Marty, at this stage that you're allowed three subs, and the yellows also carry from normal time into, into extra time. So you don't lose them. The referee doesn't forget about the ones you got earlier on. Everybody really has to be careful if they want to finish out a game of this duration. Daryl Flynn, number nine for Kildare, is now on a yellow card. Colin McFadden, seriously thinking about putting this one over the bar, as you can see by his body language. It'd Difficult be, angle, as you can see. It'll be some kick. It's going to drop a little bit short. Well done. By Darren Flynn. Ali Lyons involved as Kildare come to attack. Crossfield ball from Eamon Callum is a sweet one. Over towards Gary Watt. Ball, however, is poor from Watt. And Dunny Gall now go into counter attack mode with Kevin Cassidy. James Kavner comes into challenge. Don't forget, of course, here on uh, RTE, World Cup draw will follow when this All Ireland quarter final comes to an end. Seth Rory Blatter Cameron. is welded to a television somewhere, I'd say, <laughs> watching the extra time. Comes eventually. Kevin Rafferty. Easy ball for Morgan O'Flaherty. Gary Watt. Eamon Callum under a little bit of pressure, works his way out of it. Alan Smith, Mickey Conway, Robert Kelly playing in an orthodox corner forward, full forward role. Back again for his Ronan Sweeney, and he sneaks it inside the left hand post for the first score in extra time. And Kildare go in front. Well worked by Robert Kelly. Good score by Ronan Sweeney. It certainly was. Robert Kelly has impressed me. Doing very well. Fionn Dowling is coming on for Kildare. And that's making way is James Cabot. Having scored that glorious point in the second half. Now the open play, which you would expect associated with extra time, would very well suit Fionn Dowling. He's a lovely ball player. And the tackling and marking won't be as tight. Along the sideline as well, we see that John Dowling seems, uh, John uh, Doyle, I beg your pardon, seems to be warming up, so we can anticipate his uh, arrival back on the pitch perhaps soon as well. Ball over towards John Dowling. Flicking one inside towards Roman Sweeney. He really has played well. And also, Connor, perhaps a little bit unlucky that obviously we feel that the goal should have been allowed, but then immediately substituted. But Roman Sweeney to his credit, has also done well. Ryan Bradley. Christy Tor, the goal scores. Clearly, Kevin. Yep. No doubt. Goes for the return. Kevin Cassidy. Jinx inside, Gary Watt. 
ball is aimed. And McFadden, McGrillan is there. Gets there. Good legs, powerful running by Hugh McGrillan. Ball almost didn't make Mickey Conway. It's the skid, it's the dew on the grass, it's helping it now. Eamon Calla knew that Mickey Conway would continue on his run. This is a good movement by Kildare, Rob Kelly. And just as he wanted that final pass to go in the right place, from a Kildare perspective, he went astray. Donegal counter-attack. Christy Toy is making a run through the centre. Just at the bottom of your screen. With the possession, it's Ryan Bradley. There's a chance here for Kevin Rafferty. And it's gone down towards the canal, I'm afraid. Well wide. Disappointment for Kevin Rafferty. He knows he should have done better. And Johnny Doyle is coming back on. And the crowd of almost 40,000. 39-612 is the official figure. And he comes on for Ola Flaherty. Score five points. And there might only be 39,000, but there's a din of noise around for a five. Well, John Doyle's got a, a fill of diesel and he's ready to go again. Is there any stop in this man? Mickey Conway, cool under pressure. And there's a back fires, Michael Foley. Ball skids off the surface. Gary White unlucky. Only option available was to pull in at first time. Carl Lacey keeps it in. Good play. There's it off fires, Rory Calvin. Eamon McGee. Back fires. Kevin Rafferty gets away from Johnny Doyle. Ball is not a good one. Easily gathered by Eamon Callahan. Holly Lawrence. You can see that the rain, the shower we had between the conclusion of the game itself and the start of extra time is having an effect in the sense that players are slipping and sliding more frequently than they did during the uh, 70 minutes or 74 minutes that we had. Free for Kildare, outside the Donegal 45. Kevin Rathley has uh, had a few key losses of possession and turnovers that will be important. Tomas O'Connor is now warming up. That was a handy free. There is so much happening in extra time. But uh, everyone is vital, as we said. Kildare by one, long-range free. Gary White hits this. Straight and through. Well, their supporters rejoice. Pressure kick for Gary White. And he shows tremendous concentration. Two points between the teams. Danny Gold haven't got motoring at all in this extra period. Alan Smith fouling. Ryan Bradley. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be a yellow card. And it's cynical. It slows the player down. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's taken the yellow for the team. But it is cynical. Confirmation, yellow card for Alan Smith. Brian Bradley. There's Fouled a, by Eamon Callum. Another yeah, one. Ah, there's another one. Yeah. This is really silly bugger stuff, you know. And uh, not nice to see. A lot of teams are beginning to do this. You know, they have the lead, they feel they can defend it, and just want to take all the momentum out of the team. So Eamon Callaghan will also be shown a yellow card by referee, and correctly so. Just about 30 seconds left in the first period of extra time. Donegal yet to score in that time. He'll there with two. He's going to try again. It's high, it's dropping just a little bit short, and once again, it's Darrell Flynn that's there between his near post. John Doyle lays it off quickly to Hugh McGrill. Mickey Emmett Bolton lays it off, Farris Fionn Dowler. Down towards Ronan Sweeney. Eamon McGee unlucky. Sideline ball taken quickly. Down towards Robert Kelly. Has to put the brakes on before he goes over the sideline. Calling for Johnny Doyle, lays it up. Chance here for Alan Smith. He's got it. He connects beautifully. 
from a team that was in deep, deep trouble coming up to full time. Kildare have found their momentum and they're rocking and rolling towards that All-Ireland semi-final now. Yeah, they are. They've uh, been able to push on an extra time, as we often said.